Hello everybody. Some times ago, my wife and I visited a kitchen exhibition and there I saw a really elegant and beautiful water tap and I thought this is something I want to model because it poses some little challenges. So let me start with a box. I make it 100 by 100 millimeters and put everything in the middle. Then A key to get closer, then I select this side here, W key and bring it out by 200 millimeters. So we have uh, a 1 to 3 relationship. Then I move this up by 100 millimeters, drop the tool, select this box, control copy, control V, W key, bring it down to about here. Then select this side here and W, bring it down to here. Uh, I will explain a bit later why I'm doing this, but this part here is going to be the tap and the top part is going to be the handle. So I can delete this now. <clears throat> delete and delete the bottom one. Next I select these three edges, this one and these two, B for bevel and bevel it with a round level of one, about like so. Yes, now top view, then I select these edges here, R key, Bring it down to about 50 or maybe 40 percent, let's say 40. Perspective view, then I select the top edge here, Alt C, with a count of 1 and select this part of the polygon and delete it. Now we can flip everything. And then I put an edge in here and another one in here, Alt C. Okay, now we have uh, two halves basically and I will separate them later, but first I will thicken this. So polygon thicken click in here and on the positive side or sorry on the negative side I thicken it to about here. Then I select these polygons R key make them flat make the same here R key make them flat and now we can delete these polygons this ones and these ones delete and now I can delete the one half top view delete that and the only reason why I did this was to get these seams here the problem is if you have a material like chrome or any other shiny material you don't want to have any vertices on these edges which have more than four edges connected to it. And this is why I made the seams. It is uh, possible to do it in other ways but I chose to do it like this. 
So let's continue. I will show you later again what I meant. I select these edges, these ones, and bridge. Good. Now let's see what we have. That's not so bad. But the point is this area is not flat. So let's uh, make this a bit round. W key, action center element, this element here, and I bring it 10 millimeters, like so. The same here. W key, action center element, and 10 millimeters here. And the same with this one here. So select it. And these two, then W key, action center element, and bring this up by also 10 millimeters, like so. Good. Now we can add an edge in here. Alt C, maybe three. So we get nice round shapes. Good. So let's continue. I go to top view, um, show the grid, and bring out, uh, there is something we don't need. Let's see this one here, delete, top view again. Then I bring out a cylinder with 16 sides and make it 50 by 50 millimeters W to here then select the bottom and the top polygons and delete them and go back to top view again select these polygons not these ones, and delete, and select these ones, and delete as well. Good. Perspective, no need for the grid. Now we can uh, W, but action center, normal, to here. W down to about here, good. Now in the side view or in the front view, I want to first make this here a bit bigger. So E key, and bring this up to about here. Then T key and bring this vertex down like so. And now I select these polygons, Shift C, and then cut through here. Delete this. Now we can Shift C again, cut through here middle mouse button to here middle mouse button to here 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 and here good now 
I select all these bottom edges here, R key, make them flat, and can select these two edges, bridge them. Uh, don't use auto connection, this gives problems sometimes. Bridge those. Now we can select all these edges here, deselect the ones, Alt Q, and we have connected everything together. Now, <coughs> you know, this is one of the situations which I don't want to have, namely, here we would have five edges sharing one vertex, if I put the top on it. Uh, there are several ways how to fix it, but I think I cut through here and connect these two vertices. Or what I also can do is I select the top edges and press the Z key and bring that up a bit and already is our spider here on the flat side and not on the top. Now top view again, then I select all this here, uh, go to vertex, set position 0 on Z, now we can duplicate, mirror over Z, apply, let's see, good, now I can select the top here, P for polygon, 3 to select this polygon, B for bevel, bevel it in a bit, like so, and I think I cut another edge through here, Alt C, about here, perspective, now I can delete these polygons, select this outer ring, L key, Shift H to hide the rest, top view, then select the inner edges, deselect these four and these four, then bridge them with auto connection and click in here and we have a nice closed surface. Unhide everything, perspective, and our tap is almost there. And I think, I think I rotate this part a bit. So let's see, E key, and make this roughly a uh, 90 degree. Yeah, 90 degree, or even a bit, a bit less, like so. Now we can add another cut through here to, and let's see. Yeah, that's nice. Good. Then we can as well use this here. Uh, and these ones work plane, align work plane to selection, top view, then go to basic and make the part where the water comes out. So this is probably zero. No, doesn't matter. Like so. Perspective. And then I hide this. D 
delete this polygon, make everything a bit smaller, W key, bring it down to here, 3, B for bevel, bevel it in, shift click, bevel it in on the blue, delete, select a poly, uh, sorry, a edge loop around here, Alt C, count of two, with symmetry, like so, unhide everything, let's have a look, mm, yes, not bad. Okay, now we need to make the valve, and for this I first reset the work plane. I make an other cut, Shift C through here. Shift C guarantees me that I get straight cuts. If I would put an edge in here, this is not guaranteed because they might not necessarily be straight. So I make a cut through here and another one through here. Okay, L key delete, now I select the top, hide it, perspective, and select this edge, Z key, right click to activate the tool, R key, and bring this in about 50%. Alt C, count of two, like so, and then I add in another edge here, about the same distance, yes, nice. Unhide, now we can hide this part and do exactly the same here. So select this, the Z key, right click to activate the tool, Then R key and on the green circle, bring it also in about 50%, like so. Alt C, good. Now we need also another one in here, like about so. And unhide everything. Let's see, yes, good. Side view, then I make the valve ball in here, 45 is probably not so bad, and like so, then I can hide these two and L, invert the selection, delete, unhide. Now we can give all this a material and call it shiny. The last thing left is we need to have uh, a cut in here. So around here, drop the tool and bevel this with a round level of 2, like so. Select the middle one, R key, and on the green circle, move it in, shift up arrow. Alt 3 to convert to polygons, M for material, call it black. This will be the seam. And now we need to have a basin or a basin or 
I use one of my presets, this one here. So, A key, go to front view and select the top half and delete. Then I make it smaller, like, like so. W, dark to about here, bring it further out, like so, then perspective, F key to flip everything, Let's go to edge mode, select these edges, Z key, right click to activate the tool, R key, and bring this out to about here, Z key again, and bring it down this will not be really visible, it just symbolizes a, a washing basin. So I select this edge and one in here, B again with a round level of 1, and give this a material, call it uh, basin and now it's render time. Let's see what we get. So render uh, we should have subdivided everything and also this one. That's better. I think I leave it like this give the basin some really shining marble material. That does not work. Let's see. UV is not good. Spherical. Yeah, that's it. That's better. How is cylindrical? Mm. No, spherical is good. That's good. Then we go to metal and I take silver for the shiny material. And the black material, of course, is black. Yes, nice. And a good layout, this one. Now let's see. Yes, almost like the real thing. So I make this render window a bit bigger. 720 and I can use that as my thumbnail for the YouTube preview. Okay, that's it. Let's render it. F9 and here we go. And here we are. Here is our water tap. Pretty perfect. None of the vertices on the outside edges has more than four uh, edges sharing. And this is the recipe to get a really nice mesh like this one. Thanks for watching. See you some other time. Probably not every week anymore because currently I am pretty busy with a lot of other stuff. So thanks again for watching, take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye bye.